My name is Matt Rich. I'm the senior pastor here at Unity Presbyterian Church, and I want to welcome you to this week's edition of Life Together. This coming Sunday is April the 3rd, and it's going to be a marvelous day in the life of our congregation. But let me say first, thank you to all of you who came to be a part of Commitment Sunday this past Sunday on March the 27th. We had about 500 people attend worship services here in person on Commitment Sunday at both our 845 service and the 11 o'clock service combined. It was a marvelous day. It really was just spirit-filled and a unique and wonderful time to be gathered together to worship God and to recommit ourselves to life and ministry together. If you've not yet had a chance to turn in your stewardship commitment cards for either your pledges of time and talents or your financial commitments for the next coming fiscal year, please do it today. Go ahead and put those in the mail, drop them by the office, or um, use the online opportunities as well to commit uh, yourselves to God's ministry here in this place. We're off to a great start with that stewardship effort and campaign, and we need you, if you've not yet turned your card in, to uh, help us complete uh, that task for this coming spring. My friends, we're looking ahead as well to a wonderful and exciting Sunday this coming week. Uh, Our associate pastor, Molly Spangler, will be preaching for us at the 845 service and the 11 o'clock service. Um, She'll be preaching about the parable we normally know as the parable of the prodigal son. I think we'll be thinking about it a little more broadly in terms of how is it framed What are the additional questions that we might ask about it as we make our way through this season of Lent? Putting love in truth and action in a much more Lenten context of preparation for Holy Week and Easter. Let's come and think about that together with Molly this Sunday at 845 or at 11 o'clock here in the sanctuary. Those services are also live streamed on YouTube, on Facebook, and on the church website for those who are unable to be with us here in person. But don't just come to worship on Sunday morning. We want you to come back as well at 3.30 in the afternoon as we'll be installing Molly officially as our associate pastor. A commission from Providence Presbytery will be with us, some wonderful folks from across our presbytery, as well as some special friends and guests that Molly has invited to be a part of that service as well. It's a a special, important time in the beginning of a new relationship between pastor and congregation, and we want you to be a part of celebrating together. We'll also then have a reception in the historic sanctuary, and it's just going to be a marvelous and wonderful afternoon of celebration, of prayer, of praise, and a chance to celebrate Molly's beginning with us here at Unity Presbyterian Church. That service is also live streamed as well if you can't be here in person, but we do hope that you'll come and be a part of that service here in person together. We are rapidly approaching uh, Palm Sunday, which is uh, the next Sunday, April the 10th, and then our Monday Thursday service will be a 6.30 service here in the sanctuary. We're doing a joint Good Friday service with several other Presbyterian churches on Good Friday, which is April the 15th at noon here in the sanctuary. And then our Easter Sunday services will have a live on the lawn service at 7 o'clock and then 9 o'clock and 11 o'clock here in the sanctuary with butterfly release after both of those uh, 9 and 11 o'clock services. Marvelous things, wonderful things. God is doing great and amazing things here at Unity Presbyterian Church. So come this Sunday, morning worship, afternoon worship as we install Molly as our new associate pastor and then look forward to the holy week that is yet ahead. My friends, God bless you. We'll look forward to seeing you soon.